Team Valor and Barry Irwin unearthed another jewel in La Petite Coco. Uh, she's a very, very well-bred daughter of ruler of the world. She's been very well handled by Paddy Toomey and when she won the Pretty Polly, that was his first ever group one. So she's a great tribute to all of her connections. Barry Irwin unearths these star fillies time and time again. And Team Valor have had huge success over the years. So it's great to have a, a filly of this caliber with a fantastic international family as well. I think the, the best thing um, is the first stake she won in Ireland. She, just before she beat Love in the Blanford, she won a stakes and she drew off right in the last furlong and opened up five and a half in the blink of an eye. And that's when we really got excited. Well, she's the first horse that we won a group one with. We've been placed in, in, in many group ones. She's a horse that progressed with racing, you know, and she took her racing well and went on this season and won her group one first time out. And I guess for me personally, you know, often in the past, horses we had were sold, you know, when they had shown ability and we got the opportunity, like Pearls Galore, we got the opportunity to train her and show what we could do on the big stage. And that was important for me. You know? And so we sold a few fillies um, down through the years that have produced very good horses. The best filly in France this year Blue Rose Sen um, won the Marcel Boussac by five, and she's out of a mare that Gary Barber and I raced, and uh, we sold her at Fazig Tipton, and she was bought by some people, Senator Richard Baltus. She won a group race, a graded race in this country, and now she's the dam of that filly. And through the years, we've sold a lot of fillies and mares that went on to produce grade one, group one winners and champions. We have a particularly good record selling to Japanese owners. Um, some of the foundation stock for the, the Shaddai Stud family um, hails from a couple of mares that they bought from me. I think that La Petite Coco has a chance to become a really good producer because of her own quality plus her family. There's a, it's a loaded family. There's a lot of top class horses over middle distance and staying distances in there. It's fun to watch her run. Yeah, when she won the Pretty Polly, she wasn't 100%. Patty thought he had her about 85%, thought she'd need it. Um, and I kind of pushed him to run in there. My group was there. They wanted to see her run and she ran and it was a tough race. I think she was very tired, but she fought it out and she won and showed her guts. I think German families of this caliber are, are, are highly sought after by breeders from throughout the world, in particular the top Japanese breeders. They, they've honed in on these very high class European families for many, many years with huge success. So it wouldn't be a surprise to see the, uh, her attract plenty of attention from that part of the world, world. And as well, you know, we'll have breeders from throughout you know, every single continent in the world at the December mayor's sale. So she will not be short of admirers and plenty of international ones at that.